What's going on everyone? My name is Tech Hunter, and if you're like me and just logged onto your YouTube account, you've noticed a few changes and you might not know what everything is. So I'm here to walk you through. You can notice there's not a lot of settings up in the top right hand corner and you can't really get to anything over here. So I'm here to walk you through it. So when you click your little uh, display picture up here, um, you get the Creator Studio and the YouTube settings and you can also change your Google Plus display picture and also your connected accounts down here. So I'm just going to walk you through YouTube settings. When you click on the YouTube settings, it will have your overview, connected account, privacy, email, playback and connected TVs. These are all the settings you can go through. So when you first create your channel, you click on the little um, the wrench icon and it will come to here and this is where you can change your name and shut up bird Jesus Christ and this is pretty much where you can create your YouTube channel as well as your YouTube like domain so forward slash hair on seven or something like that along those lines see you can so see on my channels or create new channel but that's not really what we want what we need is creator studio this is where they've enabled everything into one so you got your dashboard video manager your community which is your inboxes messages so he can go to my inbox and this is just all spam but that's pretty much just all spam and then you've got uh, your comments and your video ma video manager this is where you want to pretty much use to um, keep an eye on all your videos make changes edit thumbnails and of course, analytics is where you can keep track of where your views are coming from and how you can, um, you know, how you can maximize your viewership, subscribers, and likes, dislikes, and all that sort of stuff. And here we have a new one, create. So this is where you can get your audio library and video editor. This is just an inbuilt editor, so I can bring on my no scope video down here and you can do the brightness contrast I'll just pause that so pretty much you can rotate it you can do slow motion if you really want to duration of slow motion must be less than 10 minutes reduce the clip so pretty much they're just kind of little tweaks and stuff you can do like pan and zoom stabilize uh, auto fix I really don't think auto fix would do anything but yeah, that's just a little walkthrough of the new YouTube settings. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys can stay up to date with all my new content by clicking the subscribe button down below. If you did find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me tremendously in reaching out to new audiences and bringing new people into my channel. And that's about it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.